Hi everyone, welcome to Forever Skies, a game by the Polish developer Far From Home. This is a first person action survival game, reminiscent of games like uh, Subnautica, but you have an airship. Oh my god, you have an airship. I am so excited about this. I was fortunate enough to receive this beta key uh, to try this game out early. Full disclosure, I did play some of this earlier on Twitch, just to check things out, see how it played, and I really enjoyed it, but I wanted to make a separate video for YouTube. Without further ado, let's dive in. There will be no other end of the world. Setting quite the grim setting. Sandstorms, forest fires, looting. And you can see South America right there as well. So we're returning to Earth. Okay. Right to it. Broken signal. Sagittarius 2 went silent for months. Then this one signal and silence again. None of us know what awaits you there, but if there's a chance that they have found the virus, then maybe we can survive. Find the virus sample at all costs. The fate of us all depends on you, the Ark. Okay, so a couple things right out of the gate. You'll notice that this is very reminiscent of the PDA in Subnautica. You have your inventory. You have a to-do list, which will fill out shortly. Blueprints, we have rooms, things for water, things for food, you have some tools, interior, and some recycling. I will be going over all of that in a little bit. You also have this database, which is very similar to the data bank in Subnautica, so anything that you scan or come across will be here for reference. But okay, let's get out of here. Yeet! Return to planet Earth. Find the place from where the previous expedition transmitted the rescue signal. Locate the source of the transmission. Okay. Yep, health parameters. Not too worried about that right now. I just want to drink in the sights for a second. So all these skyscrapers completely destroyed. And as you can see, it looks like everything is very toxic here in the atmosphere. But there's debris flying around. There's some floaty boys. We'll take a look at those guys a little bit later as well. But yeah, I love the setting of this. Metal debris, synthetic debris. We need to find all the things. More debris. There's a computer. No power. Requires a solid state battery. So we gotta find that. And now we have a scanner. Thank you for the free scanner, guys. Much appreciated. Expedition computer. Sagittarius 2 expedition computer. The source of the transmitted rescue signal needs power to operate. So we need to get this bad boy going. Metal debris. Old canned water. It's all gone to hell. Everything's been screwed up since we found that damn virus. We're all getting sick. Equipment is breaking down. And then there's this Noah situation. The power blew out again and the door is locked. I'll check if the beacon tower has a compatible battery. So there might be another battery in the beacon tower. Do you remember the forests? Ominous. I guess all the forests burned down? I hope that's not the case. Glass component. Requires an extractor. So once we get an extractor, we could probably break that down. Is 
Navigator's body. His mission was to map out directions and find resources even this far from home. He's been dead for nearly two months. The decomposition process was slowed by clima climatic conditions. So if you guys haven't noticed by now, whenever you scan something, you know, obviously it goes to the data bank, but also it pops up on the right side of your HUD as well. And it's the full uh, database entry, which I think is really cool. There's no uh, immediate need to hit tab and pull this open to read the whole thing, like you do with your PDA in Subnautica. You can just read it right off of the screen if you want to. So health parameters. Immunity circle is this part right here. Fatigue bar is your top one, your energy, basically. Your health bar, hunger bar, and thirst bar. So you have to balance all of these different parameters. So satisfy your hunger and power the computer are on our to-do list. Take sun melon. And there should, oh, yeah, there's plenty here. Yeah. Oh no. We got a virus from eating it. So scanning this will tell you threat photophobia virus. So check the database entry and then find a cure for it. So looking directly into the sun causes visual disturbances and injuries. So it'll actually start hurting you if you look directly into the sun now. Therapeutic nutrients. Lecithin? I might be butchering the hell out of that word. And medicine cure the virus to fill the medicine list. So, yeah. We need to find a way to cure it. Uh, that's just more glass. Oh, would you look at that? We got ourselves a battery. I'm just going to plot myself down right here. Radio message received. Uh, undelivered message. Class. Yeah, that, but... There we go. Undelivered message. No one went crazy. That bastard stole the sample and our airship. The radio doesn't work. That's probably his doing too. We're stuck here. We're sick and can't work. If we had known about what awaits beneath the dust, we would never have gone. For whoever reads this, find Noah. He's doodling these signs everywhere, easy to spot. Be careful. He's dangerous as all hell. Expedition Sagittarius 2. So, if we had known about what awaits beneath the dust, we would never have gone. So there is something spoopy under the dust. Very cool. Okay. biologist body. His job was collect and study biological samples. He was the one who was supposed to find a cure for the virus that threatens us all. These are the doodles. So this must have been Noah. Noah must have been the biologist. Yeah. Noah's drawings from when he was locked in a cell by fellow expeditioners. Humanity, technology, and nature combine and blend together in these paintings. These paintings remind me of Outer Wilds, if you guys have ever played that one. Really fun game. Highly recommend it. But you come across like drawings, paintings, glyphs, whatever you want to call them, in that game as well. So this is pretty cool to see. Another data bank. Noah's madness. It's all because of this damned dust. Noah heard voices. He was mumbling about nature surviving everything, even the fall of the world. He said he knew what to do so we could return to Earth again. He wanted us to help him, to follow the voices in his head. Lunatic. We locked him in a cell for his own good, but the bastard hid the extractor and ran off while everyone was asleep. Oh no. There's even more. So ship, taken off. 
Is that supposed to be Noah? Is that how many days he was in here? 15 days? Oh no, no, way more than that. I completely missed all these, <laughs> the obvious ones over here on the left and up here. Okay, let's keep going. Hello, airship. There she is, our beloved. She may not look like much kid, but she's got it where it counts. Okay. Cool. So the water bottle can hold up to five different, uh, I guess, drinks of the water. In other words, you can use it up to five times before it's empty. Airship to-do list. I've been building a new airship for two months since that bastard got away with our equipment. If only my workshop hadn't collapsed, I would have already had the engine. Install the rudder? Check. Repair the fabricator? Check. Place the fabricator. Recycle metal debris for resources. Build the deck extractor. Build the engine. So this lays everything out for what you should do, which is great. Extractor's right here. Let's open this up. Sweet. Calm yourself. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, so, fabricator. We got a water condenser. Let's look at these each. Uh, condenses water from the air, unable to eliminate all contaminants, so the resulting water is dirty. It needs a membrane to operate. And that's what this is. So you create the membrane, you put it in the condenser for it to work. Water purifier purifies dirty water of contaminants. Water becomes safe to drink. Well, that sounds nifty, doesn't it? Then, of course, empty bottles. We got a free one, but we can make more if we wanted to. So for food, we got an electric cooker. Processes raw ingredients into cooked meals. Insect catcher. And a lure. Lightweight lift converted into a device for catching insects flying in the dust. So I guess once we're up in the air, we can uh, drop this into the dust, I guess? Maybe it's like a fishing pole. A bed, deck extractor, a build tool, hello. Construct airship hull interior and balloon components. So you can expand the balloon too. Uh, metals and synthetics. Let's go ahead and make some metals out of that. Nice. Okay, so as you can see down here, we have 15 metals, but we need more synthetics. So let's keep looking around. Is this stuff going to stay in my way? Yeah, I can't get through there. Um... Food ration. Photophobia virus research. The virus is wearing us out. We have almost completely switched to a nocturnal lifestyle. These damn insects could help, but we have no means of catching or cooking them. I managed to grow a plant that can help. I had to put it at a high point. It likes sunny places. I just need to examine its fruit with a scanner to see if it has the right vitamins. Aha, so there is a cure up here. Uh, but I need, yeah, I definitely needed some of that. Lobster chili. Aha! We cured it! Nice. Medicine, lobster chili. Right on. Let's take some of this. Oh, hey, buddy. A biologist, maybe? Engineer. He was in charge of operating and maintaining equipment. He designed devices and adapted to adapted the resources and components he found for use. Okay. So it looks like there was just that one biologist we came across earlier. Which was Noah, right? Noah was our... Noah was the biologist 
who was going crazy. Old can water. Almost completely walked by this. What's this? It was used to test virus samples. The expedition must have encountered something important. Yeah. Rotten pepper. Subject subjected to research. It is spoiled and cannot be used. Yeah, so that's... This is the rotten version of what we just grabbed upstairs. Broken microscope. It appears the expedition conducted some research short shortly before they passed away. Yeah. So this is what they were working on when they died. Oof. Man, all you guys had to do was eat a snack. Tisk tisk. Okay. Uh, can we build an extractor? Where's it at? Right here? Yes. Printing completed. All right. Uh, right there. Yes. So just to explain what I just did, there are certain components that you can build inside and some that you can build outside on these little catwalks. I Yeah, so it's, there are several other games that mirror this as well. The obvious one being like Subnautica, you can build inside your base and then you can build certain things outside as well. And several items are exclusive to one or the other. Uh, we need stuff bad. I'm hurting. Yeah, that's okay. Inventory full! What? Eat the melons, and drink some water, and take one of those. <laughs> so many things. Uh, there we go. Alright, now let's start deconstructing stuff. Okay, all the synthetics, very nice. More synthetics, look at that. Okay, uh, I want to scan one of these. Metal cluster. And synthetics cluster. So, the synthetics cluster have a bit more red in them. Clump of mass of synthetic waste in plant pollen creates a lightweight structure that floats with the wind. It's possible to recover some resources from it. Metal component, glass component, and metal clusters. Those are primi primarily green. So same concept as the synthetic clusters, just for metal. So also, one thing that may not have been apparent while I was doing that was that while I was scanning those things, the game automatically tracked this thing while I was scanning it. I didn't have to use my mouse to hover over it the whole time. Uh, that did not do that with the deck extractor. However, I'm pretty sure if it's up here, it will. Yes. So if you build it facing the front up here, it will automatically track. I cannot tell you how helpful that is, especially for you guys who are going to be using controllers where the movement isn't as precise as it is with a mouse. That is amazing. I love that quality of life improvement. So huge shout out to the devs for that. I absolutely love it. That needs to be more of a thing in games. Okay, let's see what else Get all the things. 
Okay, we can get quite a bit already. But we're not done yet. There's still more. We cleared this little area, so let's come exploring in here. Disassembled engine, no longer usable. Since all key components are visible, the scan allows you to download the blueprint to then be printed with the fabricator. So now we can build an engine, which we have all the parts for. Beautiful. And we get a free electric cooker. And we have a data card. I'm not sure what that was for. Uh, just consume this. And do I have something else to eat? Yes. There we go. Okay, let's take this. So we have quite a few things that we need to build. I'm going to slap this bad boy down. I uh, don't want you clipping. There you go. So cooking station. We got an ingredient slot and a water slot. So how about we cook some lobster chili? Can I use this? Yes, I can. Cool. Meanwhile, get started on my engine, please. See ya. Boiled pepper. Mmm. You guys love boiling peppers, don't you? <laughs> I love it. Okay. Any minute now. There we go. Oh, whoa. All right, big fella. Okay, right up here. And we need to make you some fuel. Oh, that was much faster to be expected. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, water purifier. What was that? Fuel depleted in one of the engines. <gasps> you don't say. We need one of these. We need more synthetics. Uh, let's move you back over here. Okay. The metals are nice, but that's not what I need. Give me a red one. Red. Nice. Water purifier. I'm going to take out this scaffolding. Uh-oh. Hope nobody was living in there. All right. Water purifier. Cool. And it is working. Look at that. It's working pretty quick. What else do I need? Mm. Water condenser. Insect catcher. Could do this for food. A bed. A build tool. I need a solid state battery. Wait. I was using one just a while ago. I'll run back and grab that. Whoop. Oh. Okay. So there is fall damage. Okay. Uh, so if you guys didn't see that by then, this is locked. I didn't check it earlier. I, I knew already, but this oh, power line right here runs straight to the door. So this solid state battery has to stay in here in order for you to advance. But that is okay, because you know what? Our airship is working now. It has fuel. It has an engine. We are ready to go, but I want more. More fuel, please. And give me clean water. 
Uh, slap you in there. Go ahead and boil that. Take this. Slap you in there. There we go. Now it's full. I have more boiled pepper. Now I want to take that out. So let's eat these. Consume that. Okay, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, I want to gra grab a few more resources while I'm here. And all these free resources are just flying around. Begging me to pick them up. Okay, that's pretty good for now. Um, let me just double check and make sure I didn't miss anything else. Yeah, because I have a habit of missing things. Hey, sure enough, there's some stuff right there. Okay, that's, I think, I think that's good enough. There's more scaffolding over here, too. I want to move you. To right here. Oh no, my immunity's decreasing. I'll be okay. Tough it out. Okay. Uh, can I reach those? No. What about... Yes, I can reach that one. Goodbye! It's a shame the whole thing doesn't fall down. That'd be, that'd be really cool to see. Maybe it'll be added at some point. But let's put this back up front. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of want it at an angle like this. That way I can reach all this and I can also come back this way. Gives me a bit more free range of motion. Okay, let's take this for a spin. So we have launched. Fantastic. I love it. I'm coming around to get this battery. Okay. So this pops up as well once you have lifted off. So welcome to Forever Skies. Now you're flying into the dust wastelands. In this sandbox, you will visit new locations, investigate light sources, collect resources, and expand your airship. The gameplay has a time limit displayed in the corner of the screen. From this point on, the save system works. You can interrupt the game at any time and continue later. Support the development and wishlist Forever Skies now. Joke's on you guys. This has been wishlisted. But the rest of you guys, go wishlisted. I will leave a link in the description for you. Okay. Oh. Too low. Okay, so let's get a little bit closer to this floor. How about that? Is that a jump I can make? Ooh. Hooah! Yes! And there's plenty of glass here that I can salvage as well. Down. There you go. Okay. Whoop. All right. Take the solid battery. We don't need that door open anymore. Go up. Crouch. No, not right here. Over here. Over. Leap of faith. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess white man can't jump after all. Let's try it again. Ah! Whoa! That was close. Whew! But we made it. <laughs> uh, can I get the... Yeah, I can? Where Where was that? Hello? I'll have... I'll, I'll move. Make it a little bit easier on myself. Okay, keep her going. Back it up. Okay. More glass, please. Thank you. Yes, all three pieces. Beautiful. Okay, so tools. Build tool, please. 
Yes. Okay, now let's turn this around. We were initially looking this way. Whoops. Excuse me. Excuse me. Printing completed. Printing completed. Thank you for letting me know. All right, so we got the light. We are simple creatures. We see something shiny. We see something bright. We want to go check it out. So that's where we're going. Now, if you look down on the HUD, you'll see the keys for the speed, heading, and altitude, but lock speed. So if I lock it and leave, it's still going. How amazing is that? I love it. Absolutely. Now, we got a build tool. So a small cockpit requires an extra glass, extra rooms, metal walls, metal floor, metal doors. So I can reinforce these things. After I take, uh, I, I would have to remove those things that I built on them. And a door as well, right there. But I already have the door, which is cool. And then short railing, railing, and catwalk. So I can expand this out. Come on. There we go. And I can also build railing if I wanted to. Those are some hefty boys. Uh, how close are we getting? We still got time. Uh, what about the short railing? Okay. Yeah, this is essentially to protect myself from falling, if I wanted to. Okay. We're gonna need more metal, because I want to build a bunch. I like building. Building is one of my favorite aspects of builders. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh, that was scary. That could have been bad. Okay, let's adjust our heading. Double check that in a second. I need to slow down. And we are going to touch down right here. Turn this around just a bit. Whoa. Plop. What am I on? Am I on the branch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, maybe I can park myself up there instead. Can I go higher? Shift, please. Yes. Yes, this is much smarter. Hello, moths. Don't mind me. Okay, let's leave this here. How are we doing on fuel? Uh, we could use some more. Okay, and while you're doing that... Oh, that's not low enough. There we go. Now, I'm assuming at some point you will have a way to get back into your airship without parking it. So like maybe like there's a rope ladder or something you can make. But we don't have that just yet. So I need to make sure that I can get back inside if I leave. And there's that that I can defabricate as well. Awesome. I'm going to be shooting all the things soon. <gasps> Another battery. I don't know what I can use another battery for. I don't think we have anything. Like another blueprint that uses them. How about a turbo engine? Can I, can I install some NAS? How about that? I want this guy to be zooming. Okay, let's, uh, no, you know what? You're, you're fine right there. You're fine. I'll work with you. But let's come down here. And get yourself at an angle where you can spot these things. Because I think there were several things down here as well. 
go down here. Over here. And I completely forgot to mention this earlier, but if you look in the top left corner, you'll see demo time. Once I took off in the airship, that timer started. Whoops, too low. Uh, that timer started. So, your time is limited in this game. This is a time demo. But the timer only starts once you take off. So that initial part, it, you can take your time gathering as much as you can, cleaning it out. But you do have very limited time limit. A limited time limit? Really, Tuna? Okay. But, but uh, yeah. Our time is very limited. So I want to get somewhere. Let's go back over here. I want to build. I want to build some more. I want to build all the things. What can we do with the time that we have been given? Am I going to be able to get back up there? I don't think I will. Drop this a bit more, please. That's better. Okay. So let's turn off, pick up. I don't know if I needed to do that first or not, but I, I am. Uh, removal mode. Remove those, and another room. Yeah, that makes it easy, just like that. I want to remove these as well. I want to make another one of those. Nice. How about a door? Do I want a door right there? Hmm. I could. But I could also just make one right over here. How much metal do I have left? Not much. Oh yeah, I got plenty. And I want to expand on that side too. Room? What's stopping me from doing that? Oh, did I put one too many catwalks? No. What's the problem? Are these things in the way? Not enough resources. Oh, maybe I should just take a look and see what the game is telling me I need. Hmm? Ah, we got one. That's enough, but you poor little fellows are so far away. Come closer. All right, let's try again. Okay. Door? Door. Door? There. Okay. And then metal walls, or floors, excuse me. Yes. And more scaffolding, or catwalks, excuse me. And I need more. I need more metal. We need all the metal. Let's put the engine back on. Yeah, so I'll put the engine right there. The The idea is to have this catwalk go all the way around the outside. Um, but maybe I shouldn't have it like right here in the middle. I can get rid of that right there. Wait, how am I out of fuel? Oh, does it not recognize that... It has fuel in it when you remove the engine? Oh, that's not good. Okay. 
No, you were right there! How do things look on the other side? Would I have more luck over here? Yes, looks like I would. This is crazy with the storm. <laughs> uh, more, please. Catwalk. Okay, and then... These are fine. How is this? Yeah, this is fine too. Okay, let's move this back over here. Oh, nope, excuse me. Okay, so what else can we build? Uh, we are, vi oh my gosh, we are very low on food and water. Oh no, what? That's fine. It's rotten, we still get, yeah. It takes a hit to our health, but that's okay. Our health will be fine. We have first aid kits. Okay, uh, we need water. First aid kit. Okay, and we need a way to get more water. That is a problem. But we need more synthetics. We are running out of all the synthetics. But I have fuel, so let's get us back into the air. Okay, well, let's just lock the heading going this way. No, not that one. Not that one. There we go. I guess I should have just taken the other ones anyway. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, that's quite a bit better. Uh, let's get a water condenser going adjust our heading again for now awesome okay so this is what I wanted this space for and now I need to make the filter, the membrane. Oh, that was quick. Okay, and build me another one, please. We need lots of water. And let's tweak this again. Well, you know what? Let's go this way. Let's go this way. A little too much. There we go. Cool. Now we have another one. Now we need another membrane. Always working. Always working. All the things. Okay. Uh, I need to drink that take this it's just the one okay well hopefully it doesn't take too long now how about a lure need the catcher first this is so cool I love I can't get over it it's so cool Okay, how's this looking? You done? Oh, the timing. The timing. Lure, please. And I'm going to put this bad boy right back here. That was very quick. Thank you. Lower the lure, please. Nice. And I'm assuming I will know. Uh, oh, I guess I need another bottle. That makes sense. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Yeah. We caught something. A Dawn Moth. Okay. 
Insect that lives in the upper layers of dust, searching for and feeding off of synthetic residues. Due to spending much of its life in the dark, its sight is highly developed. Because of its thick carapace, it's almost inedible without first being cooked. Uh-oh. Oh, whoops. Uh, we'll address that in a minute. Mmm, boiled moth. Doesn't that sound delicious? Okay, we're gonna hang out right here. Can I go any higher? No, max altitude. Okay. We got a boiled moth! Mmm. And it's good for one day. Cool. But we need more of those. Bottle of dirty water. Yeah. So one bottle for dirty water, another bottle for uh, clean water. Hold on to that. Bottle it, please. Thank you. That's good. Just in time for another moth, but I want to come right here. Ah. When designing the world of Forever Skies, our goal was simple. Create a world of wonder and curiosity. Ruined. A place forever lost. A unique journey for each and every player. Full of mysteries and challenges. Where science is the key to survive. What remnants from the past will you discover? Reaching out of the clouds. Welcome to Forever Skies. This is already on my wish list, but thanks for the reminder. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo as much as I did. I am so unbelievably excited for this game. I'm going to be keeping up with the progress of it. I will definitely be playing a lot more, so expect more content in the future. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please let me know. Let me know what your feedback is as well. Keep in mind that this is a beta. A lot of things will change before full release. But I'm super excited about the future for this game. It is checking off all the boxes for me. The, the sci-fi, the, sci -fi, the exploration, the building, I love it. I'm super pumped about this. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care, and I'll see you next time.